can see, we are definitely out of the studio. Behind me is DJ Zintle's home, and she has invited us for an exclusive interview. All things about her career, music, to now being Boulevard Equity CEO. Now, guys, for all this interview, please keep watching. Thank you. The song had a big contribution towards the growth of the brand. And I think music generally uh, is, is, is that kind of tool for me as a DJ in terms of marketing my brand, in terms of marketing my talents. Uh, but when it comes to like my first big song, My Name Is was a song that I could say definitely changed a lot of things for me. Mm -hmm. um, it was a turning point for me in terms of I had been always in, I had been there, you know, the brand, the brand was growing nicely. I've been on Jerome, I've been doing extra shows in, at, the, at, at the club. But my name is then just introduced me to a more, to a bigger audience, to a, a wider stage. So, um, yeah, so my name is definitely is where the turning point happened. Um, for me, I won't lie, like accolades and, re and, and all these awards have always been such a, a weird one for me to process, yeah. you know, because I just don't know what the, the what informs, you know, that decision to say you are finally worthy of an award. Mm -hmm. I mean, anyone really, all of us do work, we do good work because we want to uh, progress in life and we want to help other people progress in the same in the same note. But I don't necessarily know how to quantify it or to ever feel like, yeah, I deserve that award. Yeah. I don't know what it is, but when you get it, it's a good. Uh, tap on the shoulder to say, you know, keep doing the great work, keep doing uh, what you're doing because it's 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 it's, it's contributing something to the industry, to my industry. But that's I don't know. I'm still not very yeah. about yeah. this kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. And, um, music awards have always been a controversial topic in South mm -hmm. Africa, and and I think it's because maybe there aren't enough awards for the, the amount of talent there is in South Africa. So even if there's like five hit songs, only one can get the award. So I had to learn at some point in my career that like the, uh, the real award is when people receive the music mm -hmm. and they love the music and they celebrate it and you know, people understand the message and what you're trying to communicate with the song. But a physical award from a group of people um, does not hold that much weight for me anymore mm -hmm. because there's just so many of us that are talented yeah. in this country and you, I mean, obviously we can't all get the awards. Yeah. Uh, my goal when I was at tertiary uh, was to work for someone. I mean, I was going to tertiary to learn how to be employable. Mm -hmm. uh, and, um, and once I graduated, graduated with flying colors, I was quite employable. <laughs> <laughs> And I went to, uh, on to work in the corporate wor world, but DJing pulled me out of that world because I started DJing on the side and then um, that opened my eyes to a different world that I didn't even know existed. Um, I started DJing, I started realizing, man, there aren't any female DJs in this industry. Mm -hmm. Like maybe there's something I can do here differently. And then I quit my job after three years at SAB and then I started on this journey of being a DJ full time and then I thought, oh my gosh, I have so much time in my hands. Mm -hmm. What am I going to do with all this time? And that's when I started thinking maybe I can get into business. And also, even then it was because I felt like I have the safety of my bookings are going very well. Um, and I can just start a business just to see, you know, if it's something that's viable. I opened a DJ school and from then on I just started falling in love with the idea of marketing and business and then the rest is history. I feel like the DJ school for girls was a very important part of um, changing um, just the position of women in our industry and um, thank you. And I think that that job hasn't been fully fulfilled. You know, there's so many other female creatives that need to get access into the industry and at this time it's not really just about female DJs, there's female photographers there are all types of creatives that need to get into the industry and I feel like if I had the opportunity and the right uh, finance behind me to start another DJ school for, I mean another creative school for girls, I'll definitely go for it. Yeah, I mean there's that uh, saying, uh, there's a saying um, that goes, what, I don't know, do something or find something or do something you love and you'll never have to work a day in your life, you actually do work, it's just that it's, you know, it's more fulfilling because it's something that you love. So I always try and find, or I try and get into business ventures that make sense to my values, to my interests, 
um, so that it's just easier for me to to work on on, on them. Like it's easier for me to be excited about them because if I'm not excited about a project, yeah. it's very hard for me to work. But if I am excited about a project and the, the potential of the project, then I'll apply myself 100%. So I try and um, get involved in businesses that are just organic to who I am. Mm. Um, so fitness is something that I would say is a very big part of my lifestyle, whether it's perfect or not, but it's something that um, I try, I, I try and, and, and do as often as I, uh, I can. Um, same goes for accessories. Uh, when it comes to Europe ideas, this is something that my friends and I love so much. Sometimes I just feel like we're creating products that we love ourselves, mm -hmm. and then we just try and hope that we can find other people who are as passionate, as in love with the products as we are. And it's the same also with Boulevard. I mean, I work in in, in, the, in the entertainment space. I work at the club where people are always celebrating. And just to have a brand like Boulevard be part of what I do makes so much sense because, you know, I've been at the club celebrating mm -hmm. with people and watching other people consume other brands when they celebrate. So if I can be part of that market, it just makes sense. So I just try all the time to make sure that it's things that make sense to who I am and to my values. I mean, I am working with people who have a lot of experience in the industry, uh, but I am definitely uh, intensely involved in a lot of the decision making, mm -hmm. but I also have to trust them in, in the process of, you know, what the final product should be. Um, and in the same way, like with my marketing background and my influence, we have to sort of balance each other out in, in terms of all those things. But definitely I am involved in the process and definitely I've drank a lot of Boulevard. I've gained so much weight since I joined Boulevard. Yeah. <laughs> so the new range really, I mean, we started with one bottle, which is the black, black bottle. And then we launched the pink one uh, last year for my birthday. But I mean, we are a young brand and the idea really is to expand into cater to different people's tastes, you know, because not everyone likes bitter taste, not everyone likes sweet taste, so we have to have enough variety in our offering to cover all, you know, our consumers' needs. So this is our, an extension again to what we like to us just trying to give our, like, our customers what they want. But over and above that, I remember when I joined the brand, I just had this low dream of a white bottle because I just always imagined a white boulevard bottle at weddings. Yeah. I mean, I don't know why, because I'm not even trying to get married, but I just always had, and also maybe it's just because I've been to so many weddings and I just always look at this, uh, this bottles that they used to celebrate and think, oh, this bottle is ruining the decor, you know? It's all white and it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. And then now this bottle is just coming with a weird color. I'm not going to mention that in the colors because now it's going to be weird, but I've just always had this dream and I remember communicating it to the team at Boulevard when we, when we launched, when, when we finalized the partnership to say, guys, I really have this dream of like a white, pure white bottle, mm -hmm. you know, for weddings, for baby showers, for bridal showers, for all kinds of celebrations. And really this bottle is that it's about um, celebrating yourself, it's about you know, just celebrations. Generally the brand is about that, but this bottle again is one of those things that we're saying like here's a beautiful bottle that you can use to celebrate your moment mm -hmm. i think my big thing is around changing the story for women you know um i think i want to be remembered for just having pioneered in the space in, in like in, in 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 the space of women development and how women see themselves and, and I think this is also the idea even with Era by Jesus, is to just make women realize the times that we live in and what it means for a woman right now. Um, I mean, we have a lot of challenges, we have a lot of struggles, but women are making major strides right now. Women are changing the world right now. And if I can even be part of that change, I would have done a lot of work. And that's why I'm so passionate about helping young women about contributing where I can when it comes to the development of women because I just feel like if this is such an important time for women, women are owning their record labels, uh, they are running businesses, they are also mothers, they are doing incredible things. So there's a, there's a big shift right now when it comes to women and the empowerment of women. And just for me to be remembered to have been part of that change would be amazing. Thank you so much for your time. Cool, thank you.